Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Health Forensics. And we're here to take a little look into this security system detector. So that little device right there is a PIR and microwave detector combined. So it has two sensors in it. I'm going to show you it because it's installed into my home. And it's right there. So that little device is both a PIR system, which is the bottom half of the unit. The top half of the unit is a microwave transmitter. And this room is filled with microwaves as we speak, as is the kitchen. So this is the living room and it's pointing into my kitchen. So anybody in these two rooms is actually getting microwaved by this device. So it's a really bad idea today to put microwave devices into your home. Microwave systems are extensively known to be making many, many people sick today. And that emerged in large numbers when the government rolled out its smart meter program for the utility system. And many, many people became sick. And if you want to find out more about this subject, you can actually read about it in Health Forensics. Health Forensics extensively discusses microwave sickness and radio wave sickness and the emerging plague in the population called electromagnetic hypersensitivity. And many, many people are finding that their sickness is actually called electromagnetic hypersensitivity. So what actually happens is if you're exposed to microwaves for a long, long period, then you can actually go into the hypersensitive state and you actually start reacting to many, many forms of electromagnetic radiation. So it's a bad idea today to have a device like this in your home. And I will not be having one of these in my home in the future. And had I known it was there, I probably would have removed it quite some time ago. But the reason why I didn't know it was there is because there's no markings on it indicating that it is emitting radiation. And in particular, microwave radiation if we actually look at the specifications, we can actually see down here, it's actually operating in the 10.525 gigahertz range. And I can tell you that none of my radio frequency test equipment has ever picked up that this device is emitting 10.525 gigahertz radiation. It appears to be out of the range of anything that I own. And that's a little bit concerning because if you don't know it's there, then you don't know to remove it. And as I say, there's no warning labels on this whatsoever to say that it is sitting there emitting 10.525 gigahertz radiation. I find that very, very concerning. So these are commonly sold as pet detectors and many, many homes that have pets in them are and our security system will have a detector that looks like this. And uh, if you're getting mystery sickness, I would recommend that you look into your security system, have a look at the detectors, and uh, you should probably remove anything that is emitting microwaves into the room. And that was the purpose of this demonstration. If you want to find out more on the subject of what microwaves can do to you, you'll find it in health forensics. I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.